Happy Days is one of the greatest shows of all time. Gary Marshall created the show, and he introduced the world to Richie Cunningham, Potsy, Ralph Mouth, The Fonz, Joni, and Chachi. The show made people feel nostalgic for the good old days of the 50s and the 60s. People loved the scenes in the malt shop and Fonz's leather jacket. Even if fans didn't feel nostalgic, they still enjoyed the comedy in the show. If you're a fan of Happy Days, you're in for a treat. We've tracked down some little-known facts about the show. Facts First presents Happy Days, 15 Shocking Secrets from Producers. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. Happy Days almost had a different name. When Gary Marshall first developed the series, he wanted to call it Cool. He figured that since the characters on the show were cool, the name was perfect. Like on many shows, Gary brought in a focus group. The focus group loved everything but the name of the show. They said that the title Cool wasn't working for them. In Gary's book, Wick Me When It's Funny, Gary said that the test audience thought that Cool would be about Eskimos who smoked. Gary went back to the drawing board and he came up with the name Happy Days. It's a good thing he did because it's hard to imagine the show being called Cool. Plenty of spin-offs. Happy Days was such a huge success that plenty of spin-offs were created. A few of the most successful were Laverne and Shirley, Mork and Mindy, and Joni Loves Chachi. Out of the Blue and Blansky's Beauties were spin-offs of characters who had made their introduction on Happy Days. The problem with Out of the Blue was that due to scheduling with the network, Out of the Blue aired before the main character premiered on Happy Days. It was a week after the show premiered that the character appeared on the Happy Days episode, Chachi Sells His Soul. The spin-offs were so popular that there were animated spin-offs created. The Fonz and the Happy Days gang was popular. There was also Laverne and Shirley in the Army, which was later named Laverne and Shirley with special guest star The Fonz. There was also a cartoon version of Mork and Mindy. Each of the animated shows were based around the characters when they first appeared on Happy Days. There was one spin-off that didn't take off. Susie Quattro was a musician and an actress, and she played Leather Tuscadero on Happy Days. She was offered a spin-off revolving around her Happy Days character, but she turned it down. Anson Williams sang. To be allowed to use popular 50s songs was very expensive. The show didn't really have the budget to get the rights to use many songs, so they came up with a plan B. Rather than using real songs in music groups, they had Anson Williams, a.k.a. Potsy, sing some of the songs that played in the jukebox at Arnold's. Most fans had no idea that it was him singing, and it saved a lot of money in production costs. Fonzie's Leather Jacket When Fonzie made his first appearance on Happy Days, he wore a windbreaker rather than his signature leather jacket. The execs at ABC thought that if he wore a leather jacket, it would make him look like a hoodlum. Gary Marshall knew that the windbreaker wasn't working, so he spoke to the execs. He asked that Fonzie be allowed to wear the leather jacket in scenes with his motorcycle because the leather was safer on a bike. They agreed, so Gary made sure that all of Fonzie's scenes took place beside his motorcycle. Later, when Fonzie became incredibly popular, the ABC execs allowed him to wear his leather jacket with or without the motorcycle. The windbreaker went back to the wardrobe, where it remained for the rest of the series. Mickey Dolenz was almost Arthur Fonzarelli. Before Henry Winkler landed the role of Arthur Fonzarelli, Mickey Dolenz was considered. Mickey was one of the monkeys, and he was the frontrunner. When Mickey spoke with the Washington Post in 2013, he said that he remembered the audition but didn't remember seeing Henry Winkler there. Henry says he remembered the audition and remembered seeing Mickey there. As soon as he saw Mickey, Henry was sure he wouldn't get the part. Fortunately, he did because it's impossible to imagine anyone other than Henry Winkler playing Arthur Fonzarelli, a.k.a. the Fonz. Weezer's Buddy Holly. Al Molinaro was the actor who played Al Del Vecchio. In 1994, he reprised his role for the band Weezer. When they were filming their video for the 1994 music video for Buddy Holly, they asked Al to star in the video where the band performs at Arnold's Drive-In. During his part in the video, Al gave a shout to his hometown. The band was from L.A., and Al said they were from Kenosha, Wisconsin. Most of the Happy Days gang was also in the video, but not in person. The band sliced original footage from the show into the video. Happy Days the Musical In 2007, Happy Days the Musical opened in Burbank, California. The show was such a hit that later it ran in New Jersey and then Connecticut. It was such a hit that the show became a touring production. In 2010, the show stopped touring around the U.S. In 2014, they began touring in the U.K. Robin Williams' incredible audition. 
Robin Williams auditioned for the role of Mork, an alien who abducts Richie. The episode took place in 1978, and the title of the episode was My Favorite Orkin. During his audition, the show's producer told Robin to sit down. Robin turned to face the chair and then sat on his head instead of his behind. When he did this, he got the role immediately. Robin played Mork so well that spin-off Mork and Mindy was created. This is what helped Robin's career skyrocket. The 2011 Lawsuit in 2011, cast members Anson Williams, Donnie Most, Aaron Moran, Marion Ross, and Tom Bosley's widow got together and filed a lawsuit against CBS and Paramount Pictures, which is the network that owns Happy Days. They filed the lawsuit because they weren't paid merchandising revenues for the show. They were particularly upset about not being paid for the Happy Days-themed slot machines. The group asked for $10 million in the lawsuit. According to the New York Post, each actor agreed to a settlement, and they were awarded $65,000. It wasn't the $10 million they wanted, but all were reported to have been satisfied with the settlement. Fonzie's motorcycle goes to auction. On Happy Days, Fonzie rode a 1949 Triumph Trophy TR5 motorcycle. In 2011, it went up for auction as part of Bonham's Classic California collection. The bike was expected to sell for between $60,000 and $80,000, even though it wasn't in working condition. Everyone was shocked that the bike never sold. It's still listed on the Bonhams website. If you want to buy it, you might be able to. You should just expect to spend some good money. Now, I think what we got here the is 20s and 30s. When Paramount no. first approached Gary See, Marshall to write a show for them, they wanted it to be set in the 20s or 30s. This, Gary told the execs so that he would be better suited to write a show based in the 50s and 60s, since that's when he grew up. The initial pilot that he wrote wasn't picked up, but when he pitched Happy Days, they loved it. The rest is history. Ron Howard almost passed on the role of Richie Cunningham. When Ron Howard was first offered the role of Richie Cunningham, he initially turned it down. He told Gary Marshall he didn't want to play a teenager for the rest of his life. Gary promised that during the show's run, all the boys would graduate from high school. This was enough to convince Ron, and he accepted the role. The external shot of the house is located in Los Angeles. Happy Days was set in Milwaukee, but the house used for the exterior shots was in Los Angeles. The address is 565 North Cahuenga Boulevard, L.A., California. If you're in the Los Angeles area, you should take a drive by the house. It looks the same as if it has been frozen in time. Henry Winkler was terrified of motorcycles. Henry Winkler's character loved his motorcycle. In real life, Henry was terrified of it. In the scenes where Fonzie is riding his bike, Henry isn't actually driving it. He would sit on the stationary bike that was attached to a moving truck. Henry never once actually rode the motorcycle. Henry Winkler couldn't read his audition script. Henry was diagnosed with dyslexia when he was 31 years old. When he read for the role of Fonzie, he couldn't read the script. During the audition, he made up his own lines. Henry told the producers that he did it so they could see the essence of the character. He promised to read his lines as written in the future, and he got the part. Which one of these facts was most surprising to you? Let us know in the comments. And be sure to subscribe to Facts First for more great videos.